Hey guys, and Light here bringing you a Mythbusters episode, and I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, and Light making a video? Sorcery! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I know I'm kind of sorry just for leaving y'all guys hanging for so long. But, uh, yeah, I'm back, and, uh, let's just get straight into this, uh, Mythbusters episode. It's gonna be kind of short. Um, my apologies, just, you know, this is the only miss I can do off the top of my head. So, you know, once this is over with, you should probably leave some miss, and actually, my subscribers actually, one of my subscribers actually uh, brought this up. I should, he said I should probably start up my uh, Q&A uh, video. I mean Q&A series again. So I don't know if y'all leave myths and questions. You know, if I get enough questions, I'll probably do a Q&A. So leave that jogging through your memory while you watch this, and uh, yeah, you enjoy. All right. So for the first myth, we actually have one that was asked repeated amount of times. So I can't really just add anyone's YouTube channel right there. You know, the whoever asked it. So. Uh, sorry for that, but um, we are actually testing the EOD test, uh, the EOD suit hitbox, and I'm not even gonna commentate for this one. I'll let Carol commentate. Scope in at Carol's head, don't shoot, but just scope in at Carol's head so we're on the same, like aiming at the same target. Okay. Like, thank you, for it. Uh, and like, we're ready. Thank you. Okay, here I'm gonna try shoot for leg. <laughs> Did I hit him? Yes. Okay, I hit his foot. I can't shoot his legs. Let me see. Yeah, Matt's still 100 HP. Yeah, I'm 100. Matt I'm got 30. hit. Okay, I can't hit. I can't hit the leg. I can hit his foot. I can hit his foot, but I can't hit his legs. Um, So I'm going to try the headshot. Try and shoot past my head. The yeah. head's going to be the same. I can call it already. Uh, there you Carol, go. Carol, stay, stay scoped in. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Matt, one HP. Ah, <laughs> oh, swag. You had to. Run. So for those of you that don't know what actually happened, uh, basically we just got a person with the EOD suit and person with a regular recon, whatever. Um, what a normal person would probably have on his self. We lined them up. Of course, we put the recon in front so it can be fair. And uh, we basically just shot in different areas, see if the hitboxes were different, and it turns out, actually, the EOD suit, it does actually have a bigger hitbox. As you can see, we uh, the EOD suit actually did get headshotted through the recon vest, um, not the recon vest, but the hitbox of the actual male. But the thing is, you could see that Carol was actually trying to hit it multiple times. So I would say it's like bigger, but I mean, it's not even like noticeable. It's like... You have to really try, I mean like, there's really no difference in the hitbox if you think about it, but like if you want to get really technical about it, yes, the EOD suit does have a bigger hitbox, but like I said, it's not even noticeable, it doesn't make any difference in game, it wouldn't at all, to be honest, so but with that being said, that had to be myth busted, but yes, if you want to get technical, yes, it does, it does have a bigger hitbox. Alright, so for this next myth, we actually tested the blast radius of the NX and GP super nade. And I've got to say, I am honestly bamboozled by the results. And, you know, that's a term not really using as much, you know. So, basically, to test this, all we basically did was go to short fuse and use the tiles as kind of measuring blocks in a way. <laughs> you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Anyways, um, we found out that the closest you can be to a nade without it killing you is actually 11 blocks so if you're 11 blocks away from the nade you will take a lot of damage actually but you will not die so basically uh what we did was just stand 11 blocks in we we're trying to find you know um for both nades it was 11 blocks in but here's the part that like really just killed my brain cells i don't know what to say about this but it turns out if you're 11 blocks in with the gp and the nx nade you actually will have the same HP. So if you're gonna buy the NX nade just because you think it'll, you know, hit the, I mean, like have a better impact on the enemy, you're wrong. Just don't spend your NX on a, a, a NX nade. Spend it on a GP a super nade because we just confirmed that basically, if you're 11 blocks in with the NX and GP nade, basically you're just gonna have 21 HP. You know, that's what basically happened. Uh, we did both nades. Uh, of course, we you know restarted our health afterwards. Uh, is that even the word restarted? We basically just you know uh, 
killed themselves and then you know went back with 100 HP and both times they both had 21 HP of course we used the measuring blocks and we, we just stayed in the same place so yeah with that being said that's basically myth busted if you're gonna use your NX don't use it on an NX nade just buy a GP nade the GP super nade and uh, yeah and for the last myth, I'm sorry, yeah, I know, last myth, we only did three. <laughs> like I said, it was going to be a short episode, I need more myths. Anyway, uh, for the last one, Kara actually came up with this on the, off the top of his head. He said he wanted to know whether AP protection, uh, you know, AP as in armor protection, right next to HP, actually did anything. So what we actually did to test this, and I'm sorry, I can't really show you that much footage, I don't know why, but life hates me, and... Uh, Basically, we just, um, my files deleted. I only have one clip of me actually shooting him after he had zero AP. But, um, basically how we tested this is Carol actually got a spec and he was kill. He was basically just throwing fire at himself, but he had meds on him so he wouldn't die. He'd had 100 HP every time, but, uh, he'd have zero AP. So the first time we actually shot him, uh, with 100 AP was he actually came out with 73 HP. And it was, was a G23 SE. But here's the really weird thing. Uh, we tested it again with zero AP, which was actually really <laughs> weird. Uh, well, not really weird, it was just a myth. But we did it again with zero AP, you know, he did the fire thing. And he actually came out with more HP than, you know, I shot him with the G23 again at the same place. Uh, and it was just funny because he said, uh, you know, it did 70, he had 74 HP and before he had 73. So in a way, if you have zero AP, I think it would actually benefit you in a weird way. I don't know. That's pretty weird. And, uh, but yeah, basically AP is basically just useless in game. So if you're worrying about in game, like, oh, I have zero AP or, you know, uh, I'm freaking out. I don't have that much HP. I mean, AP. Don't worry about it. It does nothing. Um, I think the only time it actually does something to help, it, I think it's only uh, Spy Hunt, I want to say. And so don't quote me when I say that. <laughs> I think it, uh, the only time AP actually does something is for Spy Hunt. So yeah, with that being said, that is also Myth Busted. And with that being said, that basically just concludes Mythbusters, and I think we actually did some pretty good myths. Uh, that kind of compensates for the lack of myths we did, because I know we only did three, but there are some pretty good ones. So yeah, um, leave a like if you like the series, maybe sub to me, I don't know, it's, uh, you know, it's just right there, and you know, you know you like this video, you know you do. Anyways, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I can only keep this series going if y'all leave me some miss and you know I I know I can think of some miss off the top of my head But it really helps if y'all do leave some miss and like I said uh, in the beginning You know, maybe I could start my Q&A uh, series again So if you want leave some questions if I get enough questions, I'll do the Q&A and yeah um, Just kind of giving me some content to put out there uh, since I'm going back to my regular uploading schedule and uh, Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode and there's more to come. That's all I can really say. So with that being said, this is in like peace.